Hello, welcome back to my channel, Elf's Animator. I know I don't post that much, but you know, what can you do? So, I'm going to try and start posting weekly. Uh, and the reason I haven't really been posting is not only because I haven't really been animating, because it's just obvious, it's not like an actual thing I have to do. But I also want to post stuff that's longer, so, you know, I used to post... 30 second things, but now I want to post like, you know, 10 minute things. Well, not 10 minutes, but you know, proper entertaining animations, not 30 seconds of moving transformers. So, but I can't obviously animate everything within a week with school as well. So when I don't have anything to post, I just fall back on a trusty review of a figure. Uh, now these might be a bit all over the place because you know because when I'm reviewing these some of them they've all been opened uh, well some of them in the future might not have been but some of them might have a box this one has been opened as you might be able to tell so I've already you know messed around with the figure but just for aesthetic I've put it back in the box and um, you know Might as well start, you know. Alright, so taking a look at the box, you have your, you have obviously your picture of uh, Dryden Voss. This is Dryden Voss from Solo, a Star Wars story. Not the best film stars I've ever done, but you know. There's his name, Dryden V. The back you've got another picture of him you've got some info on him the pub the public face of the crimson dawn crime syndicate dryden voss is a contradiction a pitiless enforcer known as a gangster of wealth and taste his good manners shouldn't be mistaken for weakness though he can change from generous host to ruthless killer in a moment this side has just got red of number 79, Dryden Voss. Uh, got the Star Wars logo. Uh, nothing on the top. And then, yeah. So that's about it for the box. Without further ado, let's get inside for the package. So, hang on, my fingers are in the way. So, got some nice detail. Apparently, uh, it when it gets cold, uh, the plate here will turn red, which is nice. Uh, he comes with two of them. Um, not much else to say about these. There. Look nice. They've got red inside of the uh, grips for his hands, and they are called lightsaber -y Star Wars knuckle dusters. Oh, if it focuses. There's kind of some detail there. Hang on. Yeah, you can kind of see it. But there. Oh, there's some detail. There's some detail there. So, and he is a good figure, I would say. He's not bad. Uh, so, uh, start with articulation. Comes with uh, a ball joint in the head, which means he can do 360, a little bit up, not much down. But, you know. Uh, 
arms uh, move up to about just above 90 swivel uh, elbow joint kind of breaks the illusion of a straight arm but it does go for a bit more than 90 uh, hands got a swivel with just a swivel oh no it has got um rocker moves down a little bit not much uh same on the other side although this side it's got it going up that the hand's different on that side maybe it's just it's got a bit you know over time muddled up uh, there's a like a Marvel Legends joint here, not Marvel Legends, but you know, there's a joint between the where the pecs would be and the rest of the chest. No waist swivel, that, that's all you're going to get from that. Then the legs are on a ball joint, so they can go out to about, out to about there, they're quite long. They, um, go all the way to back there and then his feet are on a classic sort of football joint so it's articulation uh, overall, I'd say this figure is pretty good. The face sculpts, uh, I think this is one of the first figures they uh, started using face printing technology for. So it looks a bit rough around the edges compared to some of the newer ones. The detail in the hair uh, looks good compared to, you know, normal Black Series. For example, I'll get in um, my Kylo Ren. This was before face printing, so as you can see, there's quite a difference between how accurate they look. The hair is much better on the newer figures. Yeah. Okay, so first up we have the mod Bandai model kit C3PO. Uh, these really are just random comparisons because. I don't really have a th sort of themed one here. So, uh, here is the model kit R2 next to him. Um, here is Captain Phasma next to him. Scar, as you see, they're about the same height. Fortnite, Jazz wears Purple Skull Trooper, Purple Skull Trooper. This is a really good Black Series and it's definitely a good start to the face printing technology. Looks like it will be good fun to animate him with. Um, Hang on, is that a separately painted? That is. Hang on, get the camera to focus. That there. Separately painted silver. Which is a nice touch. I didn't even realise that. Anyway, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe. And I'll see you later.